Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions and this is Andrew Hess. Today I wanted to talk about galleries and uh, filtering another gallery based on a gallery selection. So to me this would be called cascading galleries. Um, there is There are cascading uh, drop downs, but this time we're going to do it in a gallery. So yeah, I know my webcam is a little dark. I am doing this late at night. I did want to get you guys a, a video. But I'm normally I have my window open and the sun shining, but I understand my picture might be a little dark. Next time, I will be creating the video during the daytime. So I'm going to show how to do this in the context of SharePoint. Uh, you could probably do this using the Dataverse or SQL, but I'm going to show you how I do it in SharePoint. So we have a, a list here in SharePoint, and it's called Projects. And so I have two list items, one uh, create ice cream, another create birthday cake. Now the next thing we have are project tasks. Now project tasks is blank, but the first thing that I want to do is actually go into list, list settings and turn on the ID field. So I'm going to go into list settings, go to all items, and I'm going to turn on the ID field. I'll make the ID field first. All right, and then project tasks. I'm going to enable the ID field here also and put it first. Okay, so now in project tasks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new field and it's going to be a number field and it's going to be project ID. And I'm going to make that right after the other ID. All right, so I have my projects, ID field, two tasks, project tasks. I created a new ID field. So if, if you think about uh, relationships in Power BI or uh, SQL or however you do it, you have what is called a primary key. This project ID is going to be the primary key. All right, so this is easier when we have a couple lines of data. So I'm just going to show you my Power Apps. So right now in Power Apps, I have two galleries. So on the left side, we have the projects data. So this is the project list in SharePoint, only two items. On the right side, we have my project tasks list data, and that's on the right side. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a couple uh, line items in the project tasks. So in project tasks, we'll have a new uh, line item here, and this is going to be uh, add sugar uh, to ice cream. And this is going to be project one. So we need to put that in this time. We're not going to be doing that later. And then I'm going to do um, add icing to birthday cake. And I'm going to say that's project two. So that, that aligns to our other SharePoint. Let's just do one more. So um, let's say add vanilla to ice cream. And I'll say that's project one. So. We can see right now, you know, ID for project task is one, project ID is one, ID two, two, but then we go to ID three and then still project ID one. Okay, we're now back in Power Apps. I have refreshed the data. We have three line items and we have two line items on the left side. So, all right, so the trick is to filter one gallery based on the selection of the other gallery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my first gallery and first I'm going to change my template fill. So now um, if the item is selected, we're going to have it highlight a little bit. So um, we can see those colors there. So we can see when I select one, it is now highlighted. So I've done that in many videos, so I'm not going to go over that too much. That's just the template fill. The trick is on the right side, we have our project tasks and items. To make this super simple, what we're going to do is we're going to say, filter project tasks when the gallery one so that's my first gallery over here gallery one dot selected dot ID is equal to project ID give it a second and it's now filtered that so now it shows the two tasks associated with ice uh, create ice cream uh, now when I select birthday cake it shows the one task associated with the birthday cake all right, so this is where 
uh, we're going to go into form making. And, you know, there's kind of a little bit of gotchas, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. There's, there's many different ways to do this, and there's many ways that I've done it. Um, but this is a really good way to learn how to do uh, creating the new tasks. I'm going to create an icon here, or maybe just a button. I'll create a button. And this button is going to select the parent. It's going to navigate to screen two with a uh, fade. But what we want before we navigate is we want a new form. A new form on form one. So that's my only form in this Power App. So what we're going to do is we're going to select parent. We're going to start a new form and navigate to screen two. So another thing that you really want to do during this is you might want to re is name your galleries. So name, I, I normally do like gal projects. So just doing this, you know, helps with confusion. I, I probably should have done this earlier because uh, I was already getting confused. And I'm going to say gal tasks. So that just kind of helps me here. All right, so now when we collect, click on the new button on either one of these, so we can still select and highlight different tasks. But we can click on uh, create ice cream and we can click new task. And it's going to take us to this form. And so this should be a new form. So for project ID, we want this to be auto populated. We don't want the user to be writing in the project ID. So for the, the display mode, for the display mode, we're going to change this to display mode dot view. All right. So now it's just going to be a text. And then in default, we're going to change this to gal projects dot selected dot ID. So it's going to be auto populated. So let's add a back button just to kind of, you know, check these, check this out. So this is going to navigate and we could do back if we wanted to, to screen one fade and it's going to take us back. And hopefully I'm, I'm making sense here. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, very simplified. All right, so we're in create ice cream. Uh, we can click on birthday cake. We don't even have to click on that. We can, you know, we can be here and then click on new task here. And I'm going to add a new task to um, creating a birthday cake. And we'll say bake cake. And we're going to need a submit button. And it's going to submit form form one and save. All right, so we have our save button, save. There we go. So we have our save button, bake cake, we'll hit save and go back. So now you'll notice that bake cake is under create birthday cake and not under ice cream. So under ice cream, you know, we could add toppings to ice cream. And you'll now see that I, I spelled I spelled toppings wrong. I spelled toppings wrong, right? So uh, that that gets us into more. So when we want to fix the ice cream toppings, we'll add another button here, or we'll add an icon. And this icon is going to be the pencil tool. So we'll add a pencil tool icon here, and it's going to select parent. Uh, navigate or uh, navigate to screen two on a fade. So when we select the pencil tool, it's probably not going to work like we want because we haven't done that yet. So we click on the pencil tool. It's blank, right? It's not in new form. What we're going to do is come to the items property of the form. And we're going to say it's uh, gallery tasks dot selected dot selected. So now we have add sugar to ice cream. Let's go back to add toppings. Spell it correctly. Two P's. Save, go back. It's now updated. So let's go check out SharePoint now. So in SharePoint, we have written two line items, right? Uh, create ice cream, create birthday cake. So we have two projects. In our project tasks, we have multiple different projects. And you can see how they're filtering each other and I guess you would call this cascading uh, galleries. That's my own name I'm giving it. Um, but you can see, you know, this is project ID one, project ID two, 
And so these line items now associate uh, in Power Apps. So I, I tried to break this down as simply as I could. You, hopefully this will give you more ideas. There, there's different ways you can do this. You can uh, do a patch statement. You can write the two forms. Um, but this was the most simple way that I could uh, you know, associate projects to tasks. So we have two galleries. Each of them have different tasks. You can come in and edit the task. Uh, we could add a pencil tool on the left side and edit the projects if we wanted. But uh, that's the most simple way to uh, do this cascading gallery where one gallery filters the other gallery. I hope this was helpful. I appreciate, appreciate everyone. Thank you. Please like and subscribe if this is helping you. I'm going to keep trying, you know, simplifying these things to make it so you can do it every time, you know, in no time. You can create a power app uh, for your projects and tasks in 30 minutes, right? We want uh, fast, rapid creation of apps. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.